What is the worst uh, response that you remember when you're, or, you know, yeah, I'm, on, I, I'm a commentator on Fox News. Literally all of them are the worst. Yeah. They're all the worst because they start projecting every single yeah. opinion that they have about Fox News onto me. Right. And it's just so, I mean, I had, um, I wrote, a, or I had a piece out about me and about the book in Variety. And I was so excited about it coming out. Um, it was a great piece. Um, and all the viewers or all the like the the readers of Variety were very pissed that they had done a piece of me and all because I work there. And it, it's mm -hmm. just it just blows my mind, especially because sometimes the people that'll be saying it to me, I'm like, don't you work at a fucking bank? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. The, what 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 makes you so it's just so because Fox is a platform. It's an yeah. idea. It's not it's not an idea. It's an a platform on which to share ideas. Yeah. And you do realize that if I weren't on Fox, and if any everybody who there was nobody who wasn't MAGA on Fox, then your grandparents who leave it on all day would never hear from anybody who wasn't MAGA. Right. And do you really think that that's better? And also working there, I do have people in my I know in my real life who are my friends who are very MAGA. Right. And I had like they're not monsters, you know. I mean, we disagree, but. That doesn't mean that there's nothing we can agree on. Or we have, have no common ground anywhere. Have you ever had the experience where you're at, I, you know, something like the Met Gala? Which I'm not I assume, invited yeah. to stuff like that. But, uh, well, let's say a liberal <laughs> event, okay? Yeah. Uh, and, um, you know, people come up and it's like, oh, thank you for working at Fox News. Like, do, uh, you, have you seen I, kind of the Benedict Arnolds uh, of the progressive left at all? I mean, some pe people sometimes will have questions and they'll make statements like that. It's more about I'll hear from people after I make a certain statement that mm -hmm. I know is going to piss off viewers. And I and I get it because I do sometimes piss them off. And I could sell, I know, because most people, I don't know if you guys know this, most people that watch Fox News are MAGA. Like a lot of them are big Trumps like their dude. And so I know that I could sell more books I could sell out all my shows, sell tickets to my shows faster if I said the stuff that I knew and only the stuff that I knew people watching were going to like. Right. So I get there's that temptation for that. But I just I truly can't bring myself to do it. Mm -hmm. um, and, I, you know, I, but I think that that's something that a lot of it can be hard to see a lot of that shit. Yeah. It can be frustrating, but I don't know how you'd sleep at night any other way. A lot of people talk about how. A, a platform like Fox News, when it started, it, you know, it was always polemical, but it was not as extreme as it was. And MSNBC went through a bunch of different iterations before it became this kind of super right. woke thing. I mean, is is the polarization being driven by the media or is the media reflecting our polarization? Yeah, I mean, I think that's a probably a very difficult thing to answer, but I do think it's interesting when people attack specifically Fox News as if there aren't those things that exist on the other side, right? I think that part of it has gotten worse, again, because of social media, all the hate that you'll have to actually see. You d People didn't used to have to, to hear that. Like, people didn't used to have to get off TV and be like, hear from all these people about how you're a piece of shit. And, like, it's never just, like, I disagree. That was, like, you know, in a simpler America, that was, your family did that. Yeah. You, right? You didn't need strangers. To, yeah, you know. exactly. And it's always so personal. Like, you're disgusting. Like, I mean, I have people whose entire fucking profiles is just shitting on me over and over again. I do well, like the power you know, that I have yeah. over their lives. Yeah, I mean, you're very important to them. Though, <laughs> they, right? they, yeah. it's, it's, it's a lot of retired women in their 70s that oh, are like that the right? ones. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're just triggered by the fact that I'm still breathing. It's and really... are they, do they, are your worst um, kind of enemies online or your detractors, do they tend to be, are they progressives or are they conservatives who feel somehow spurned by you? Both. Yeah. Both. I get a lot. A lot of the the women are like, you know, you're not conservative, and I'm like, when did I say that I was? Right. I've never said that I was. My my skirts are too short, or you know, it's just. But you can never please some people. Like I, everyone used to say I was like disgusting and old, and I understood nothing about the world because I was childless. And then I got pregnant, and two days after I announced it, these same people were like, "Will you shut the fuck up about being pregnant?" <laughs> There's more to life than just being pregnant. And I'm like, you know, I'm almost starting to think that this isn't really about me. Yeah. yeah. I'm starting to think that this might just be like, like, whose grandma is this? Like, will somebody please take her out to lunch? 
you know? And so you can't worry about it. But I really do think that that's part of it. I think that people can, they can notice that they get these careers and they get these platforms. And they're like, well, I don't want to upset my platform because then it's going to affect my bottom line. And I think that applies more to just media, though. I think that applies to Hollywood. I think that applies to, to, to everybody, really, who has some sort of public role or even corporations. Like, Uber needs to every Pride Month have the cars be little rainbow flags. Why? Like, do you know what I like? Or why are, did you not love gay people year round? Or yeah, what? no, it's, they get one month. They get one yeah, month. I mean, yeah. it's it's just and blacks, of course, get the shortest month. And if they did, and if they didn't have the rainbow, would that really mean something about how they feel? I mean, I just feel like so much of this is driven by that. And but, but don't, I feel like most people understand that, but they don't think about it on, in their day to day interactions or consumption of media. And not to say that there aren't. I know people who I work with who just they love Trump. They do. They just truly they're not pretending to love Trump. They just like that's my they'll watch videos of them and they're smiling. They love that dude. And like, good for you. I wish that I could feel that way. My life would be easier. My well, life would be so much easier. It's because you're libertarian, right? Yeah. You, you always have to be, but wait, you know, like you can't yeah. enjoy yourself fully. Yeah. Well, people be like, Trump for free speech. I'm like, okay, but he just said that he wants to throw you in jail for a year for flag burning. Right. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's not pro free speech that you can't purchase a flag and burn your own Come on, flag. but we're in a war for civilization, it, so but you exactly. should not dissent. Exactly. That's such an important political protest. That's what the First Amendment is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about truly about being able to protest the government without government retaliation. It's not so much about memes. The memes, too, are you should be protected, but... Of course, you can't be pro free speech and against that, against or uh, for that, for prosecuting that. 